Hello my saucy spiders, it's your boy Zionic Blader and welcome to another worst to best video. In this episode we will be ranking each Webm Ultra from worst to best. We will be ranking them based off their overall stats, their evolutions, and their place in decks. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 3, Darkest Webm Ultra. This spidey boy in general is just mediocre. It has below average stats in base form and evolves with an evolution that costs too high for the stats that it gets. Its evolution has an Aurelis power effect that gives you Shadow Strike if you have an Aurelis Bakugan in your team, but like, don't even bother with Darkest Web and Ultra because Darkest Fangs or Ultra is leagues better and has the same effect in base form without needing a condition. Number 2, Aquas Webm Ultra. This is just a very mediocre Bakugan in general. It is Aquas with shields, which could make it a candidate for Mono Aquas, but its evolution needs Aurelis to be cheaper, so like that kind of just throws it out the window. Number 1, Ventus Webm Ultra. Huh, not much of a turnout. This guy's evolutions are too expensive and really, the only reason it is number 1 is because there wasn't much competition. This guy comes with a Magic Shield core, but really, Ventus Magic Shield already has Ventus Pegatrix and Ventus Dragonoid Ultra. Wow. Yet again, another line of Bakugan that are not good. Jeez, there sure are a lot of them. It is unfortunate that Pyrus Web and Ultra never got released because it could have been good. Probably would have been outclassed by the likes of Pyrus Pyrivian Ultra. But hey, that's just a theory. A agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. Like the video? Hit the like button. Or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.